How's it going? This is Dark Virgil. I'm gonna be doing another account review because uh, I have for my for April. So I was. I'm not that This bad. is basically where I am in in uh, RTA as well. So you generally know where all my matches are generally being placed in. You know, high champion. Uh, so I don't think I did a lot of changes since the last one, but I should probably just do it now. If it, if I don't if I don't if I remember if I already had these units already from the last one I'll kind of speed through it type of thing, but yeah this is a lot of the units are kind of similar but there are some changes. Again, you can always just pause it when you get to a, a unit that you want to see the stats of. And yes, uh, if there anyone who hasn't who hasn't seen my other account reviews, I have. Three built Earth Lilibets, and I have two uh, Milums. So, but yeah, uh, so the RTA season so far has been doing okay. Misty Chain, I think, is a new unit that I, I recently built. I don't think I had her uh, my last account review. So the the few matches I actually did play of RTA, I think I had one video. I might have had one or two videos of uh, Misty Chain that I used. So that's her. Sorry, Janua is a new one I I built as well. Obviously, because he's new. I built him on a you know speed torn, obviously, but like I gave him RNL, but I have yet to have RNL proc at all. Like I've used him, I used him quite a few times, and it has never procked yet. Actually, no, I think it procked one time. Then my arrow all that I literally never use because I always prefer Rose, and anyone who has seen my RTA matches and the videos know that I, I'm pretty much I, per, I first pick Rose basically almost every game, which is gonna change once uh, ML Politis comes out because I think I'm gonna you're gonna force to be she's gonna be a uh, force picker band now. I haven't used her yet, Falcon and Clary, since her buff. But like, I do like the I had you know some effectiveness, some ER. I was I also kind of had Bastion on her one time, so that you know 170 you know, uh, percent ER type of thing, which would be pretty good. But yeah, that's just PV stuff. I don't really use her, Clarissa. I I think I had her on my last account review, but I did use her a few times. So this is the, this is Clarissa. I bruised her a little bit. Momo. I know I had her the last one, but just like I love using Momo a lot because I think she is so underrated. And this is a very fast Momo. I love using her. Whenever I can, I probably use her. That's not I I put gear on her just for um Ancient Inheritance, I think it was. I don't think it was Ancient Inheritance or someone else. My Gaither. I am actually Thinking about building a, another uh, guide Wraither, build build uh, build a second guide Wraither on speed pen, like so I can use him easier to because like the Bruiser guide Wraither it, it could work obviously I have, I have videos of me using him against Genua but like sometimes it's really hard to pull that off because of his speeds just being so low like if I got like a 230 240 speed guide Wraither with uh, just damage and no no uh, bulk and I just use him solely to get the to stop Genuas. I might do that, and then maybe I'll keep this build for uh, keep this Gaither just for Bruiser sets, like Bruiser because I like using him. Cigarette, I I'm actually in the process of working on another Earth Yuthine. I want to work on it eventually. Uh, once they get the next Earth Yuthine of Triple S, I will probably build her because I'm gonna probably give this gear to it because I think I think Green Yuthine would be fun on a Bruiser build as well. But I am not getting rid of my Speed uh, Yuthine because I use her too much. So right now, Sigurd's holding the gear for it. Senya, I haven't really used Senya this much though. It's some effectiveness, not really a lot. It's got pretty good, really got it's got pretty good health, and oh, not really crazy attack for Senya, but automation tower. Usually, I usually just use her for automation tower because she like does the automation towers the early floors of automation tower very well, so very quickly, so. I need one more and I'll hit the, uh, I think I'll hit uh, 22,000 health. Well, one more and then maybe to get this to plus 30, I'll hit 22,000 health. Which isn't bad. 
like I know a lot of people are going for a higher bulk or they put a, pro, a proof of valor on her and they go for like uh because they want obviously the speed the speed's fine 250 speed's fine on her but there were people probably be telling me to like drop the crit damage and then go for like higher health and stuff to make it more bulky but I like the fact that she, her S3 does a lot of damage you see in my videos with me using her and you see like I'm doing like eight not eight to nine thousand damage on the S3 it's like yeah it's because I'm actually a I actually have crit damage and Draco play. Like she's actually built to do damage, not just built to slowly stack up in uh, injury. She's gonna hit hard. Carmen Rose, which actually isn't a bad build. I think this is a pretty good build for her because even at, uh, even at this attack, she does pretty decent damage, especially if there's a debuff already on the unit. It just, I just wish she had a little bit more to her kit so that I could actually use her more. Plus, fire units are really rough to use unless and on. Uh, Fire units are really rough to use because ice units are just too strong. So, my LQC, I, I had some, I had decent defense here until they nerf, until they changed the effect, the crit chance. But I mean, at least now I know I can pretty much guarantee, uh, you know, I can I guarantee crit anything now. Well, maybe not if I soul burn, maybe not. But uh, is this an actual build? I think I was working on it and I just gave up halfway through. Yeah, because I I don't have the full destruction set. I was I was working on a Bruiser Chloe and I'm just like well, whatever. I just get, just toss gear on her. LRK, good defense, pretty decent a decent health with really with actually really good effect resistance. So this is whatever. Actually, so how many do I? I think I have four of the Banshees built. Well, five. Actually, I think I have all five Banshees built, actually. I think I still have Gloomy Rain built, so I think I have all five of them. But, yeah. Benny Maru. He doesn't he need a, he needs a buff, too, actually. I mean, he's usable in, like, Guild Wars, at least. That's something. Or Arena. I'd go ahead quickly. Actually, going through this pretty quickly. Usually, this is, like, 50-minute long uh, account reviews, but... I like I like my Solitaria though, not really the fastest, but like really good effect, pretty good effect resistance with some effectiveness. I mean, I'm not gonna be hit, I'm not gonna be stunning like Soul Weavers or any uh, or uh, and stuff like that anyway. So I'm not, I don't really care because, yeah, and then not the best bulk, but pretty decent bulk. But I don't use Jacko. I just have him, I just have her built because I'm like, well, she worked well with Rage Set, so Rage Pen with a little bit of bulk in it. Not the fastest speed though, but Yuha, 28k with 150, 151 ER. Not even on effect resistance, not even on resist set either. So, Cirilla, uh, this is the one that I used Cirilla once or twice recently, not recently, but you know, within the past month. Uh, so this is my Cirilla on a pr pretty good health, like really high defense, and okay speed. Technically, is what 160, 130 effectiveness. So yeah, and then she got, and then she got 15 percented by a Bihu, where you know Bihu's not gonna have ER. I was 15 percented three times, by the way, too, because all three of the, the Death Rock. <laughs> it's so stupid. Dillabet. Uh, I might actually make a video talking about Polit uh, M the M Politis, and I'm gonna be saying some stuff about it and. I'll be mentioning Dillabet and a lot of other things, so yeah. But anyways, I love my Dillabet. I think I do think she needs to be. A bit, uh, she's going to be needing buff now because Politus is going to basically ruin her as a unit. But I think this build itself is very, very good. I love. It. This is still one of my best built units. Rose, so two sixty speed with good defense, like really good defense actually. Not the best health, but honestly, at that speed, this is all you can really expect. Even has a little bit of effectiveness too, so your provoke has a better, has a chance to land too, a little bit at least. But yeah, everyone, anyone who's seen my videos know that I spam her as much as I can. Anyone who wants to build her at the same time, I always grab the, uh, always grab the, this one, this one for the uh, ease. Being able to uh, use your S two on a unit and it applies to herself is just too, it's just too strong. Because, I mean, what's the, the other option is what? Uh, basically, the S1, if you, you can go for the S1, then it makes it so you can provoke and defense buff. 
all the time, which I guess is okay, or it reduces the cooldown of the S3 by one. It's in like a four turn cooldown. Yeah, so, I mean, you could, but it's just not worth it. Pirate Captain Flan, not even maxed out on this. I need to max that out when I can. But I think it's just pretty solid. Lionheart Thermia. I use her a lot too, obviously, but that's probably going to change when the Paladin comes out, so yeah. Mercenary Helga. I kind of just use her for PvE stuff, but honestly, this is not a bad build at all. I could definitely pull this off in RTA if she was more viable in RTA. I still think she could be okay. Like, I still think she could be okay because, like, her kit itself is pretty good. You know, giving you giving you attack increased attack and effectiveness buff for the whole team, and then having two forms of defense break on a speed and print unit. It's not bad. I don't think any other speed. I don't think any unit, any other speed imprint unit, gets attack buff to the team. So, as far as my, at least from what I remembered though. Gazelle, um, I haven't used her. Um, I haven't used her like lately at all. I don't think her, her build is pretty good though. I could toss it on to someone else, but Bridger Gazelle, yeah. Uh, I don't use AOL. So I just toss stuff on her. It's kind of like a semi sub effectiveness, but some ER build. It's not even not even a full I 90s and stuff. It's got some free gears on it. Not even a maxed out knowledge seed. I don't use AOL. Bruiser Mercedes, kind of. Well, it's it's Bruiser. It's not really high damage though. I mean, low attack. So I can find a way to get more attack and keep this bulk. If I can keep everything, but just get more attack, then I think it's a pretty good build. Holiday Euphine, also a unit I use a lot because a lot of people like to spam uh, Rancleave, and this is a unit that could actually fight Rancleave. And now the Dilibet is going to be rough to use if they, you know, if if Cleave starts in, uh, if Cleave starts integrating MO Politis in their kits, then Dilibet can't be used to counter Rancleave at all, which means Holiday Euphine becomes more and more important to use because she can fight Rancleave because she can cut. And cleanse and then push the team up so gonna have to start relying on her more than Dilaba at this point I well this isn't very good though because like it's only like, it's only like 220 ER I just gave her leftover kind of leftover gear I don't really use her that much though I do like the fact that I have some effectiveness on her though if I can squeeze out maybe not a 30% more ER I think this would be fine because her bulk is fine her speed's fine her effectiveness is good if I can get like another 30 or 40 yards, this would be how you would do it. I mean, plus this, obviously, but. Because you want to get her at maybe 250, 260 ER or something like that. Bruiser Vildred. Yeah, pretty much all my cleave units and all the cleave units I have are all like bruisers. Bruiser Charles. Because I don't cleave, so I just have fun with it. Uh, Arunko. Oh, 13 minutes. I'm like probably halfway through. So Otley, all right. This is the Otley I was using before. I once Emma Paladis comes out, I'm probably gonna give Otley's gear to Emma Paladis because it's gonna be a little hard to use her as as the meta goes on and, and stuff. And I haven't used her in the past like 30 or 40 matches. You might have seen me put a video up recently of it, but like some of these matches I I have recorded um like ahead of time. Like some of the matches, like say, yeah, I put one up yesterday. That might have been a video I put up, like, I might have been a video I recorded back in, like, the end of March. So, like, it was a week or two ago that I, that I recorded it. So, this is the oddly, though. I'm probably going to, uh, you know, pull for uh, Emma Politis and then give Emma Politis his gear, or get, uh, give her gear to Emma Politis. So, yeah. And I'll show you what it looks like once I get to Biblis, because Biblis has the same stat line. I don't have a Lua built. I, I have Lua, I just don't have her built. So, or I don't have her. I mean, I don't even have her six star. I meant to say. Rumoru. Actually, not even. Not even. Oh, that's because kind of bad. Not even full I ninety. I mean, because he he's he's kind of like hand guy in a way. Like you just give him any kind of build and he'll work. As long as he has, as long as he either he either a has damage or has bulk. I mean, or both. Like mine is kind of like Bruiser. And he's fine. You don't really need to have like crazy gear on Rimuru to make him work. He's fine. That's how broken he is. 
Yeah, and then Laya right here, obviously. Not fast Laya, but like I wanted to go after like AOLs or after other debuffing units type of thing so that I can just cleanse it. Not And plus, I want for more health because I'm at like 32,000 health with her when she gets into the game. So, and I have pretty good defense. That's why I'm not going crazy fast. I could obviously go crazy fast. Like I think I had one that was like I would like not lose any health at all. I might lose like a hundred. I might lose like five hundred health, but I gain like twenty something speed if I gave her maybe another piece of gear from someone else. But I'm like I don't want to do that. DDR. I put him. I have him on water, uh, Water's Origin. I could give. I could give him water. Uh, what was it? Uh, Wonder's Potion Battle. I could get that. Look, everyone else does, but you know. Dark Corvus, that 37,000 health. Insane with high defense. Like, he is going to survive. Not even, honestly, though, that, like 155 speed for having this bulk. I think this is not even a speed yet. It's not even, oh, because it's 21 speed. That's why. I forgot I had a 21 speed boots. Yeah, that's funny. Moon Bunny, 262 ER. I know a lot of people just say you just only really need like 150 ER and go on immunity set just to stop the C Lilius. But I'm like, but I want to make sure that she stops other units too, not just C Lilius. Like, yeah, you could just be on a immunity set and you'll stop C Lilius, but like, she stops everything. Like, she even has a good chance to avoid Zeo. Like, Zeo is not as scary to her because this at this much ER, the Zeo has to have at least 200 effectiveness to have a chance. Or 180 effectiveness, just just to have a, like a two percent chance. That, well, not really two percent, but basically they need to have at least 180 effectiveness on a Zeo to even hit her. And that's why I like to have this much ER because now I have a good chance to to like they have to be an extremely high effectiveness Zeo to hit her, so that I can just go. Oh, I don't care. Zeo's not going to do anything. Plus, I have her not the best speed, not crazy speed, but 250 speed is pretty fine, okay. And then I have her with pretty good bulk actually, so. Bruiser Luna. I pull her out sometimes. Sometimes that's in like maybe one every 200 matches. <laughs> she needs a buff, honestly. But her build out here is really good. It's pretty decent though. A lot of bulk. Good attack when you actually really think about how strong she is herself. And then, you know, on Pensan as well. Abigail. 190 ER. 190 ER. Uh, 290 uh, crit damage. Not the best health though, but with you know good crit damage, good defense. So my Leafy, I need to make her higher health though. That's what I need to do. I need to work on getting her higher health. I mean, with this, I think it puts her at like 25k HP. But I need to make sure so that she's at least 27k to be valuable into this stuff. But I want for the higher effectiveness and speed build over the over the like slower but higher health one. But yeah. Ross is kind of PB build. Vivian, uh, I love this Vivian build. It's too bad Vivian herself isn't really crazy right now, and she's gonna be even worse once Paula this comes out. Which again, I'll make a video about that. Uh, but just she is a very very tanky um, Sage Vivian actually, because like she survives so much more damage than she should because of this. Plus her passive obviously, but like plus uh, Chatty like. Outside of stuff like, you know, Rimuru can one... Actually, I think she could live... She could might live one... Or she might live Rimuru uh, attack as well. But, like, barely. But, like, I like you get hit by, like, a like a Rylet. A Rylet would do it. Like, just tickle her, basically. The only thing is, like, her damage may... Like, her damage isn't bad. I think the only thing that's holding her back is the fact that I don't have her max Molo, though. That, I'm missing 20% damage on her S1 and, S, and S3. That's why it feels like she's not doing much damage. I need to Molo her. And then I think I'll be fine. If I can raise her attack a little bit more without dropping any of her other stats, then I might be then I might be really good at this though. Uh, but some of this gear, her speed's okay for a bruiser anyway. So yeah, I think I think I just need to do just mole her and I'll be fine with her. Rylet, the solid decent bulk for Rylet, not the fastest speed though, but good. I, I think okay damage. I. have I've had a ma match, I had like two, a few matches where he actually dodged every attack and he almost carried, but it's like, it just take too much, it just, there's just too much damage in this meta right now that even if you're dodging, you're, you're just taking too much damage. I think one, I think Carino is actually one of the people I was fighting too. That's probably also why I kept taking extra damage and stuff, but yeah. 
Speaking of Karina, this is mine. Some effectiveness, 202 speed with 2,800 defense and 20,000 health. So, only thing I gotta think is I gotta max. I gotta max the, this at some point. But other than that, it's a very, very bulky uh, Karina with some effectiveness. I know a lot of people are just are going for ER, which probably should do that too. But you know, Eaton, I had him at like 36,000 health at some point, but I kind of gave some of her, some of his. Uh, better HP scaling uh, pieces to Dark Horus, I believe it was. Yeah, Dark Horus probably has the better Eden pieces, so... Because I would say the protection set was always on him, because he's I always had him on protection set. But, like, these two pieces, I think I had better HP uh, pieces that I gave to um, Dark Horus instead. But... Oh, yeah, because I, I had the 21 speed. That's what it is. Okay. Because I had the 21 speed um, boots with uh hp main on on him that is why actually i'm gonna go check that quick yeah i was about just under yeah i see it i was just under like pretty close to thirty-seven thousand now just from that alone but i figured dark horvus kind of needs it more because who really cares about his turn having well actually i should just drop this for help anyways I don't have any other uh, main health on, on an HP set, so. Arcades. You know, about 274 ER. Some speed, some decent bulk. I should use her more, but, like, if I'm going to use a high effect resistance, uh, like Soul Weaver, for cleansing, I'd probably just use Momo now, so. Because Momo is better than Arcades. I mean, Arcades has some advantage with the fact that. Every other turn, you basically you, every other turn you're basically gonna uh, you're not gonna be able to get hit because you're obviously gonna use S you're gonna use S three on the team S two herself S three on the team S two herself, so she's only gonna be hittable for like one uh, every other turn basically. So plus she does heal more all more sustained. It's just that she doesn't have any she just doesn't have any lapping abilities or you know high C, uh, CR pushing abilities like Momo does, or Momo can just lap the team a lot so. Elena, uh, some pretty decent ER, pretty good bulk. I have this in case I fight a cleaving, a cleaving unit, but a lot of times I forget I even have her build because I don't use her against cleave for some stupid reason. I should use her against Ran cleave because with okay speed with her built-in CR push plus this, I'm guaranteed gonna probably unlap the next their their bridge. I need to use her more often. So yeah, Brig. I have Rig on a you know counter set Arius. I haven't used him since I've been spamming Rose a lot, but I do use him every once in a while. He's he's fun to use for sure though. Hand guy, I haven't used hand guy in forever, but he's there. Bellion. Actually, I'm actually happy about this build. This is the build that I use. Uh, you see me a lot using when I use Bellion type of thing. I said like, oh, I don't, I'm not using any. Uh, I'm not using a counter set Bellion or something like that. Yeah, because this is on destruction set and it's on holy sack. It's, she's not gonna counter. I I draft her and and I draft her, then everyone just starts drafting stuff like uh, Lionheart Sermia or or Rowana. It's like I don't care. I'm not gonna counter you unless the only time you, the only time you get any uh, mileage out of those two units is if I proc it off the S2. You know, if I S2 on her turn. But like she has pretty really good crit damage. She has not terrible. I mean, it's terrible health, but like. Some health, some really good crit damage, some decent defense. Not the best speed, but I mean, holy sack as well. I don't even have the HP on here too. I think once I, if I get her triple S, I think it puts her at like 22.5 or something like that health. Maybe closer to 23k. Then she'd be really good. Riza, Bruiser Riza, because of course, I am a Bruiser player, so I pretty much all my, almost all my units are on Bruiser, so. I used her a few times. I still like her. She's still very fun, especially against if you're seeing a lot of units. If they're picking units that are single target, and you know they're going to use it on certain units, like say for example, say I pick Rose and I don't have any other high HP units but Rose really, and now I see them pick like Galilius, I can just slam uh, Riza, and then Riza can keep Galilius from uh from killing my rose rose would survive because 30 percent damage reduction against single targets for the front line pretty much means that well actually some galas could probably still kill actually depends on how strong and stuff but yeah charles destruction set so high crit damage pretty decent bulk for him 
attack. He needs to be HP scaling. That's what he. That's what's holding him back. Make him HP scaling so we can drop all the attack and put it more in bulk, and then he'll be like the Earth version of Shu. And that's what how he should have been. He came out first. He did this stuff first. Why is Shu better? Speaking of that, I will show you Shu when I get to her because obviously I built her. So uh, same SSB. High crit damage, decent attack, pretty decent bulk with um, Bloodstone, <laughs> plus 28. I, I gotta upgrade that at some point. Uh, not the fastest, well, you don't really need to have high speed on her anyway, so that's fine. But, like, I, I like this build. Like, really high crit damage now. That's, like, with, again, not the greatest attack, but, like, it'll do enough. I think this is, I don't even know what, I, oh, I think I tossed gear in for Ancient Inheritance when we had that, so, yeah. Saroon, I don't really use her. I don't use this Saroon a lot, so yeah. Zeo, my Bruiser Zeo, as you can see, not the be like not no effect in this though, but like okay crit damage pen set obviously. 252 speed, so it could get outsped. Uh really, really good bulk, so he's tanky as hell. My bruiser ML Ludwig, yes, I have a bruiser ML Ludwig because why not? Not the not crazy uh, pretty low attack though, but like really bulky. Uh, good crit damage pen set. Yeah. Then I have Shu right here. Draco Clay, 280 crit damage. Not the fastest speed, but I mean it's Shu, so you're not going to be fast anyways. 25k HP with some decent defense. So, yeah, I like I like using Shu. I, I, I built her like a week ago or so, or, or maybe two weeks ago. She's been a lot of fun to use. My Fire Robbie. Okay, crit damage. Immunity, actually. It's one of the few units I actually do have immunity. <laughs> okay, I get. Oh, she does speed, uh, cut up a bit. She does uh, push up a bit, so yeah. Good attack, actually, because you want to put a lot more. You want to put a lot in bulk, too, so. For a Ravi, this is not a bad attack. This is not bad attack at all. So, like, I like this. This is a good Ravi build. It's just. She kind of. She kind of needs buff. Lucas kind of just PvE stuff. I think I just use it for a while. Do I. I don't know if I use it for a while. I probably do use it for a while. This is honestly just, um, I don't use her for anything but for like maybe Expos. I think I use her for one of the Expos. My Spez is on Bruiser Spez. Very, very tanky. The attack is fine enough because she he still will one-shot you if, you know, you're stunned. He's still going to kill you. So, but now he desperately needs to make sure you are stunned, though. Because, I mean, either he's still going to be a stun bot, though. Fire Lilius, obviously the counter Lua as well, but like, you know, solid crit, you know, solid crit damage, decent bulk and stuff, okay speed. Still need, still need uh, more imprints on this too, but with there being three freaking Liliuses now, so I don't actually use, I don't use C Lilius though, so. 175 ER, Dust Devil, uh, Fire Kiron. I should use you more often too. You actually be pretty good, obviously, into cleave as well. I forget to use you sometimes. My, I don't know what build this is. This is, this is not a damage build. This is like a bruiser, not bruiser. I mean, this is bruiser, but it's like not a damage build. It's kind of like just affecting this build. I don't know. It's, you're just there to be bulky and survive so you can not get counters. Bruiser Celine. This is the Celine I use a lot. I, I think I showed this last time too. Destruction pen. Really slow, good crit damage. Like very low attack for her, but like really, really bulky. So this is why no one can, no one's like one shotting my Celine, because I mean this is very tanky. Winter, what's her? Oh, it's crit chance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Solid effectiveness, good speed, some bulk. Yeah. It's winter, but winter is honestly very underrated too. So I need to use, uh, I use her whenever I can, especially against something like Galilius. She's very good in the Galilius. Oxlots. Oxlots isn't fast. This is just a tanky, like a pretty, like it's a decent speed Oxlots on a very, very tanky build, basically. This is just there to not be turn one opener, but he's just there to constantly survive and just keep pushing up the units. I haven't really used him much since, you know, since, uh, since I actually built him actually, because I rebuilt him after his buff. I haven't got a chance to use him much, but like, honestly, 100%. He basically, you know, his 100% cooldown on his uh, on his S2. So you know, he just spams S2 every single turn, 
with decent speed and then really bulky so you can't one shot them outside of maybe one shot units but like Valencia injury Valencia with pen this is a very very I, I really like this Valencia build again if only shield is a little bit better then I can use her more this is the only reason why I hated the fact that we canceled uh, a wicked potential because I wished because I just wanted to use Valencia and, and fire Robbie like I just wanted to use them more often those are the those are the two reasons that, like I was kind of pissed off that we can't we we canceled the um, the wicked potential because dude Valencia and fire Robbie would have been so strong I mean, crowd would have been strong too. That would have been fun too, actually. Just no, we don't see Arrow Wall every freaking game. Uh, okay, so this is my A Tywin, which I'm working on another. Well, I guess I do have it max now. Uh, Arius. I don't use him yet, but, you know, maybe I'll use him once Paladus comes out. But yeah, very, very tanky. I should give him an extra effectiveness. I don't really need a immunity set on him, honestly. Well, like, I guess you... I don't know. You, would you want a immunity set on him? Because he kind of cleanses anyways, but... I don't know. Uh, Destina. I don't use Destina that much at all, ever. But, yeah. Fire Ken. Draco Plates. Solid. Solid health, defense. You know, I, again, he kind of just needs... He, he kind of needs buffs, too. Uh... I, there, there's my 40 minute. I actually, I don't care. It's, it's a. The, these are the one times I think uh, be having a longer video is fine, like this. But like, yeah. Acades, light Acades. Uh, so it's 15. So it'd be just under 260 ER. So just under 260 ER, which is not bad. Pretty good bulk. Some speed because uh, she are. She already pushes up by like 20 percent every. I think it's. Is there's no cooldown for that push though? The end of the enemy's turn. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say once per turn thing. Okay, so even if you don't, so after their turn, you, she pushes, and if they have their, and you don't cut the next person, she'll push again. All right, I wasn't sure if it was like a once per turn type of thing. When it's you know, so I should use her more actually. Honestly, she'd be pretty scary on the uh, Momo's build too. Actually, what would she look like? Let me see this real quick. You're gonna see this in live. I want to see what. Well, I'm not going to because I love my Momo, but like, what would she look like with, with my Momo gear? She actually, because I don't remember how fast, um, I know Momo is like really slow. Not, my, I mean, my Momo is, you know, insanely fast, but like, I know, um, oh, it's the very first one. Yeah, she's got like one of my fastest gears, honestly. But I want to see, like, oh, okay, so not really crazy ER, but 259 speed with some with some decent bulk still. That would be pretty. That would be really scary. And then you put on, um, I mean, if you put on her, you put on, um, you know, some Lulica's artifact could be 250 ER. 250 ER with 259 speed, and then she'll cut. So she'll cut if you do a non-tax seal. She'll cut if you just end your turn. That's funny. Oh, and and here, this is um. Well, this is my Biblos, by the way. But this is what I'm gonna be doing with, because Biblos has the same stats as um. Biblos has the same stats stat line as Emopolis. This is what my Emopolis is gonna look like. Maybe a little bit, maybe slightly different because of um artifact. Because I think I probably use a different artifact. Then was obviously I'm obviously gonna use a different artifact that's on Biblos. So, but like, where is Adelie's boots? There it is. This is what my build will look like on you know Emma Paladis when I because you know, I'm gonna pull for her on Thursday. I'll, I'll do a video for it. So 290 it should be 296. Not the craziest effect effectiveness though, but pretty solid bulk for her. I mean, not really solid bulk, but like for this speed, it's very it'll be very good bulk type of thing. This would be more or less what the build looked like. And I'll I'll go through the gear a little bit. Yeah, twenty speed, twenty two speed, nineteen on the on the chest, twenty one on there, and a nineteen on this. So yeah, that's what my Apollos is gonna basically look like. I mean, maybe it's slightly different because I'm not gonna use uh, sashes on on her. Well, I might. I mean, I could. But yeah. Hey, Robbie. 
I yeah. My how uh, abyssal Euphine, which I usually just pre-band anyways. I am not sure if I'm going to pre-band her once Emma Paulus comes out. I probably still will because knowing me, that there's just I'm just not going to be. They're just either going to either I pick Emma Paulus and she'll get banned and then I'll get destroyed by you know a Euphine or Landy, or they'll just pre-band Paulus and stuff and then I don't know. I'm just. ML Sharoon, uh, uh, solid effectiveness actually because she gets another 30 feet, 172 effectiveness with on counter set. Not not crazy speed though, but like on, it's not bad for counter set and then pretty good bulk. Bruiser Sidom, because of course I haven't used her in a while, but you yeah. know. Oh, this is my other protection set. That's right, I had another protection set that was insanely high. So 25k, about 25k HP protection set. Some effectiveness, not the crazy speed, but I want her to go after my units so that I can, you know, reset them afterwards. So that's why I have her on a slower build, but is it effectiveness? Yeah, it's effectiveness in there. So yeah. Bruiser Summon Break Charlotte, Lifesteal. I should use her more actually. She'd actually be pretty fun in this meta. I need to I need to start using her too. Green Bologna is kinda of like built kind of like SSB in a way, you know, with uh, with drink, and I mean, cause she procs it like every single turn, basically for for her first three turns. Cause her first turn she's S three, that's AOE. Then her second turn she's gonna S two, that's AOE. Then her third turn she's gonna S one, which is going to S three afterwards, and that's an AOE. So yeah, so she'll proc drink for the first three turns, or three her first three attacks. So Kawazu, solid attack. Not the best bulk, but you know, obviously with this, because it's the only artifact. This is this is like the only unit that can actually use this artifact. Uh, yeah, no. That's right. I do have her built, but she's kind of just built for like automation tower, in a way. Yeah, she's pretty much. Just, I could definitely give her more uh, better gear and use her in RTA. It's just kind of waiting for her to get specialty change. Green lots. So I have both lots built, and they're both really tanky. Maybe I should draft both. I think I did have a few times I did draft double lots, then, but like, ox lots gets banned. It's like, well, I guess I guess I got green lots. My fire politis is on a bruise, not bru not bruiser, but just D Gen build, I guess. Melanie, I haven't used her lately that much, but some effectiveness. Actually, how much effectiveness does this give you? Twenty two. So you know, just under just under seventy percent effectiveness. Yeah. A little bit of crit damage, I guess, because she does crit on her S3 and she does crit on Soulburn. So, green, uh, green violet. SBA. My Bruiser Ho Young. Now, well, yeah, Bruiser Ho Young on a on a counter set, not crazy. In fact, very low attack. Um, but I don't. I I'm still missing 12% from this. I think I'm probably gonna squeeze out a little bit more attack somewhere over here, and maybe I get the 4,300, you know, 4,300 attack. I think. My Lone Crescent Bologna, which is on a pretty okay bulky build, some of is on Life Steel plus Sacred Sight. So that's why, if you saw my videos with her, she goes from like no health to like full health really quickly. It's because I think Life Steel plus Sacred Sight is insane on her actually, and I'm also still missing six percent attack too, which is good. Uh, Peacemaker Fury is on a really good build actually. This is actually a pretty good build. It's just, he sucks. <laughs> I mean, if the meta wasn't so aggressive and you have a chance to pull him off, or maybe... I mean, what's Green Lots? What's Green Lots' speed at? 209. I don't know. Maybe if you have a slow, like a slow Lots, you can use it. You know, go like he has twos, oh, he has he has twos, he has ones, and then lots pushes them back up, and then he has threes. Yeah, I can see that. Edward, higher crit damage, pen set. Yeah, he's just there. This, I'm not. I don't have a piece of gear for this. I plus I need to get one of a high uh, crit rate actually. Well, I mean that's why I have this here though. I could use the piece on it though, but like. You'd want, you'd definitely, you obviously would want a high speed piece, right? So you'd want, 
attack, speed. So I use something like my Yufin. Yufin is 21. 286. Okay, this wouldn't be bad, I guess. Now 286 speed, uh, but like low attack and all that stuff. Yeah, I know. I need to work on her eventually. My pretty tanky counter uh, Angelica, which is with Idol's Cheer on top of the fact that her her uh, her EE also pushes up the highest attack unit. So you know she counters and then she gets you know you AOE and she counters you. She's pushing up the highest attack unit by like 35% CR. So plus she heals. So uh, so this is what 38%. So just. Just about 100, 186, I think it was. 186 ER. We have some uh, crit damage, some attack, you know. But the problem is, it's going to suck. <laughs> he already sucks. And now he's going to get worse with Politus. So, yeah. Rima. I've been on uh, Candlestick. High, you know, some effectiveness on Unity Set 2 and Counter. So he gets more hits off of this, which lowers the cooldown. And then obviously her S3 lowers the cooldown of a unit by 3. I haven't used her much or at all. Her build's pretty good. It's just maybe a little more health. And then maybe they, they, she just needs a buff. Ram. This is, I think it's a solid Ram build here. I don't really use her. So I finally got her on a lifesteal build. I had her on like speed, like a speed immunity build for like the longest. But I finally transferred over to a lifesteal build, and I even got her very, very tanky on a lifesteal build. She's not really the craziest attack, though, but I think it makes up for it because she also has this, so she has, she still has her hit chance, increased hit chance, but she also has pen, basically. I'm still missing attack from, you know, imprint, so... Uh, this is a weird build. I don't think I used her in any of my RTA matches. I, I've used her once or twice in RTA, but I don't think I did any videos of her, though. It's basically, she's just designed to, like, counter with Elbers. She's, like, a surprise. You AoE me, and I, and then she counters, and then she pushes up a unit by 15%, a random unit, and then if it pushes up my, my, uh, it pushes up my, like, my, my opener, it might cut and do something. 164 ER, some bulk, decent attack, yeah. Alright, you're not fully here. 248 speed counter set while uh, fire Shuri, so, you know, they'll see the speed, like, nearly 250 speed, like, oh, it's it's a speed Shuri, okay. And then, you know, you know AoE, and then I counter you, and then I and then I freaking proc Sword of Judgment on you off of a counter, like, wait, this was, like, 250 speed. It's like counter set? And then they get screwed over. But, yeah. I like this build. I need to use them. Like if they if they see the sneak in a speed imprint, I'm like, all right, guess I'm picking. I guess I'm picking Shuri. Uh, Fire Ilna, which who needs another buff? But yeah, I think this is a, not the craziest build actually. I, I was about to say a solid build, but it's like, yeah, good. I mean, okay, crit damage. Good. I mean, I mean, good crit damage. Okay, defense. But like that's that HP is not very good. That speed is not very good. This is one. This is one of my bastions on right now, actually. So she has 208 ER. This is Amiki. Uh, it's fun. I used her a few times. She didn't really do much. <laughs> I mean, I had a match she almost carried though. So there is matches that she can almost carry. It's just, I don't know. It's so weird. Oh wait, I was working on a Bruiser build, but then I just like screwed it. I said screw it up, and I just gave him anything. I'm like, I don't really care. I don't use you. Yeah, okay, I do have a green rain build as well, so you know, unity set, counter set with Crimson, so basically she has very high chance of dual attack. So you AoE, I counter I counter you and I can just cut steal your turn. I dual attack, I can steal the turn. It's funny, and plus a speeder print obviously. Is it very effective? No. I mean she does solid damage though, and she has some bulk, so I need to use her actually. At some point, I need to pull her out. That's right. I don't have a spare. I don't have a spare Elbers because I kind of gave my Elbers to, over to uh, Helen. But I don't even use you. Can I? I mostly pre ban you, anyways. Because screw you. I wouldn't. I, you know, I wouldn't care too much about uh, Landy. You know, ML Landy. If the fact that she. Why does she give her allies crit resistance? That's what pisses me off. 
if they got rid of the fact that she gives her allies crit resistance, I probably would stop pre-banning her. Because, like, I can't even do anything with it. I can't go aggro. I can't pick uh, my green Yuffie because guess what? 100% of the time, I'm going to miss that crit. And I'm like, well, half my units are built are, are, are going to be useless. I'm sorry that my entire team isn't built on, you know, they're not built be like Bologna where they where she all mecha crits. Rolano, some ER, not really crit, not really ER, but I think I just have her built for the for PVE stuff like this. But you know, I could obviously pull her out in RTA. Oh yeah, you're also missing an Elbrus too. So I think another person I can get Elbrus is this one too. So I'm still missing two Elbruses. I still want to get two. Well, actually, I don't care about Landy. I'm not gonna buy Landy. You're the person I want to get Elbrus too, though. You're actually not the worst build too, and with injury as well. Uh. I think I just started. I think I started working on you. Okay, everyone else is in, or people I'm not working on right now, or or they're just there. All right, I was thinking about working on you as well at some point. I don't know why, but I was like, yeah, I'm working fire. I'm gonna work on fireball. Uh, yeah. I, actually, wait. Uh, do I want to do that? Because I remember I have a mort. But do I need to? I don't really. Well, I guess I will. I mean, I probably should in case I want to go in case we get a, a Mel Mort, but you know what? We're not gonna if we do, we're not gonna get it for a while. Just say, hey, I have a triple S Mort. All right, I didn't need it because I had I already had that max crit rate, but you know, but is Lena still built? Oh, Lena was built. I'm just missing a counter boots. Yeah. Anyways, that was my account. Um, sorry about it taking longer than I planned at first. Like I said, it's usually going to be forty-six minutes, or like forty to fifty minutes long, anyways. And because uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of times, I like to talk about some of these units and stuff. Um, I will make a video for talking about Emopolitus and also the Overlord collab. So I'll make, I'll put them both in the same video, I guess. Not, not this one though, obviously, because this one's long enough. So, and I'll probably upload this. this is it's it's Sunday right now. I'll probably upload this on. I'll probably will upload. Uh, I'll upload this on Sunday. I'll probably upload the next video. On Monday or Tuesday or whatever for the uh, you know Emopolitus and Overlord uh, stuff I might do some more RT matches to actually record me playing through it as well and maybe I'll do that one on like the next day as well that's probably what I could do upload this one on Sunday I'll upload the uh, collab and Emopolitus review of uh, ideas or not ideas but like thoughts for that, I can do that on Monday, and then on Tuesday, I can just do an RTA. I do like three or four RTA matches to put that on Tuesday, and then obviously Wednesday will come along, and I'll do a video talking about um, the collab units that we're gonna get and stuff. Because obviously they're gonna reveal, uh, you know, they're gonna at least reveal Ains and maybe one more. Though we're probably Ains or and then either Shaltier or um, Alberto. I don't know if we're gonna get. I don't know if we're gonna, they're gonna reveal all three of them, but on Wednesday. But they're gonna, uh, you know, reveal at least two of them probably. Because we're gonna get two of them on the uh, the next week after that. So yeah, I'll do that, and then obviously on Thursday I'll do a video for summoning Amapolitus. So, and then obviously the week after that is when we'll get, you know, we'll get the collab. So I'll do a video talk, uh, summoning whoever, whichever one comes first between Shaltier or Abedo. So that's what I'll do. All right, that's a good straightforward thing. I will see you guys next video.